what you want to do is you, what you want to do is um, I'm not worried about my drawing right now I just want to demonstrate this to you guys but I will draw in this line for one third of the way so that I kind of know where I'm going and I'm going to have some kind of a misty background here and something smaller over here and then there's a background mountain that you can kind of see but not too defined okay so I've got a foreground right here and this is a bit bigger than the water okay and shaped a bit differently and over here it's narrow so you need different sizes right Okay, so that you don't have stripes. Now this here is the same size, so I'm troubleshooting right now. You see that? So it's not really defined though. Do you notice that? It's not really defined. It's just a very faint background. It could even be clouds. So I won't worry too much. Okay? And then I'm actually going to do this. As if there's a rock here and maybe some twigs around it. Okay, so color. This color here, the opposite on the color wheel. Uh, you want to have, I chose from the warm yellowy tones in here somewhere. And I chose these so that they are complementary. So it's actually a complementary painting, complementary color scheme. Okay, so the first thing is I'm not going wet on wet today. You guys, you guys all know I did wet on wet for a couple weeks, right? So I am just giving a little squirt to the sky. That's what I didn't do. Okay, so. I'm not the painting the whole sky like a, a roller uh, for painting walls. I'm using the side of this square flat brush and notice these irregular smudgy shapes mm -hmm. and how I'm getting lighter as I go to the bottom. And there's a few ragged edges, see that? Okay, now I might smooth, I have to sit down actually, okay, that's kind of like hard on the neck. But I'm carrying the yellow all the way across the, the little background mountains even. And maybe just a speck. Notice how light it is? Mm -hmm. There's that creamy paper, right? Yep. And go back in my raw sienna. And I'm going to have some there so I kind of know my way. Now, got to be careful in the sky that I don't let too many edges dry, right? And right here, I want it kind of white. So I'm going to soften those edges. Now I'm really cleaning my brush. Okay. But I want a little bit of balance. So let's go to the other side. Drag some over that mountain. May not be completely real, folks. But you know me, my now. The less real, the better. Now I touch that with water. I think I'm gonna get rid of that loose edge there. Charlie. Okay. Okay, so. A little bit too oh. much brushing, but it really doesn't matter for this stuff. Okay, so let's just do um, as if there's a little bit of land or something in there. You know how you get that weaving right like if it's an inlet and it's not you know you get little jet oats and this is raw sienna it's going to dry considerably lighter and it's very soft it's not an in-your-face yellow mm -hmm. you guys notice that it's really yeah, like it's quiet it's almost like yellow ochre, and, right? Yeah, yeah, actually it's it's almost like a twin, only yellow ochre is opaque, mm -hmm. less likely to give you good mixing, oh. right? You get more easy to get mud. 
So now, if you're driving along and you're headed to Chilliwack and you look at the clouds, you're gonna see this color exactly up there on, like I've seen every cloud possible uh, combination mm -hmm. and you see this raw sienna is such a beautiful, cause I'm driving home at the golden hour, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's just gorgeous. You see this beautiful raw sienna in your clouds. I don't know what else to say about that. Okay, so you could pause because this is this has to dry. Mm 